Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with CATIA V5. In this video lesson, I am going to explain about the punching theory, also called as the shearing theory. Before we get started, let's refresh our learnings on the blanking operation. Blanking is a shearing operation. The force required for the blanking or the shearing operation is provided by the press machine. The shearing happens between the cutting edge of the punch and the cutting edge of the die. A proper cutting clearance between the cutting edge of the punch and the cutting edge of the die is very essential for the shearing to happen. The profile of the punch and the profile of the die shall be the same as the profile of the blank. We need certain amount of extra raw material all around the punch for the shearing operation or the blanking operation to happen. Now let's get started with the punching theory or the shearing theory. Punching theory or the shearing theory explains the behavior of the sheet metal when it gets sheared. The punching theory or the shearing theory can be explained in six stages. Number one, the initial position. Number two, the contact. Number three, the plastic deformation. Number four, the penetration. Number five, the fracture and number six the push through now let me explain each phase in detail number one the initial position i am sure all of you remember the punch is assembled to the press slide the raw material which is nothing but a sheet metal is positioned on the die the die is assembled to the bolster the press slide reciprocates up and down. With every stroke of the press slide, the punch shears the raw material. What you are seeing on this screen is the initial position. Initial position is the position of the press slide at top dead center. That is, the press slide is at its topmost position. Next stage is the contact. Let's take a closer look at the detail view B. When the press slide comes down, the punch touches the raw material. When the punch touches the raw material, the raw material experiences a huge impact load. Next stage is the plastic deformation stage. Let's take a closer look at the detail view D. As the punch descends further, the raw material undergoes a plastic deformation. You can observe a rollover on the raw material due to the plastic deformation. Rollover is a curvature shape that is formed on the raw material. You can observe the rollover is formed both on the punch side as well as the die side. The next stage is the penetration. Let's take a closer look at detail view F. As the punch descends further, it penetrates the raw material. Cracks are initiated both on the punch side as well as on the die side. The next stage is the fracture stage. Let's take a closer look at detail view H. As the punch descends further, the cracks that were initiated in the penetration phase meet and the fracture of the raw material happens. With this fracture, the shearing of the raw material is completed. The next stage is the push through stage. Let's take a closer look at detail view K. As the punch descends still further, the blank which is sheared from the raw material is pushed through the die opening. A hole or a cutout is formed in the raw material. The punching theory or the shearing theory is not just theory. Practically, you can observe certain typical characteristics of the sheared edge. For example, 
the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. You can observe the rollover that is formed during the plastic deformation phase. You can also observe the burnished land that is formed during the penetration phase. You can also observe the angular fracture and the burr that is formed during the fracture phase. The hole or a cutout formed using the shearing operation won't have a straight edge. The rollover, the burnished land, the angular fracture and the burr are the typical characteristics of the sheared edge. Functionally critical components which are created using the shearing operation has to undergo deburring. That's all in this video lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment your questions. Thanks.